This video shows the procedure to be used when installing System 25 molded parts with slash 225 adhesive. You must adhere to local codes and regulations relating to safe working practices. Degrease the adapter to ensure the best possible bond. Never abrade the adapter. Degrease the cable jacket using a solvent wipe. Abraid the cable jacket thoroughly with a 100 grit emery cloth. Remove loose particles from the abraded area using a dry tissue. This cable preparation is very important in ensuring a strong bond to the moulded part. Using a CV1981 heat gun and PR51 reflector, set the recommended recovery temperature ranges in the code of practice. Ensure heat is not aimed into the inside of the moulded part as this may cause pre-curing of the adhesive. Position the moulded part so that the lift H end will recover into the groove on the adapter. When recovering, the heat must be applied evenly around the moulded part. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the adapter. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue heating along the moulded part, recovering the J-end onto the cable. Ensure heat is not aimed into the inside of the moulded part as this may cause pre-curing of the adhesive. Ensure the moulded part is fully recovered onto the cable. Excess adhesive should be removed with the folded edge of a 100 grit emery cloth. Perfect. The moulded part must be post heated to obtain maximum bonding performance. Allow to stand for two hours before any aggressive handling. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. When inspecting slash 225 moulded parts, it is acceptable to see a slight opening on the extreme edge of the cable end of the moulded part to a maximum depth of 1mm. An opening at the cable end of the moulded part is not a criteria for the quality of the bonding area.